Sander Zayas versus Alexis Salazar. Who do you all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight between Zayas and Salazar is scheduled for 8 rounds in the junior middleweight division to take place this coming weekend, this Saturday on the 10th of December, December 10, 2022, live from the big room at the Garden, Madison Square Garden, New York City, York, USA, in the undercard of the Teofimo Lopez versus Sandor Martin fight, which will be shown live on ESPN, ESPN Plus, and if you want to watch it with Spanish commentary, it'll be available on ESPN Deportes. So, um, so yeah, Sandor Zayas, uh, to those who don't know who he is, rising name, just 20 years old, Yes, he's just 20 years old. Uh, he has a long, long and bright future ahead of him. 14-0 as a pro. 10 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. This will be his 15th professional fight. Fighting a much, much more experience in Salazar. He's coming for a win against Elias Espadas. Uh, before that, he defeated Quincy Lavalais. And uh, yeah, this year, 2022, has been looking like a very good year for him. And uh, he's finishing off the year against uh, an experienced fighter, in uh, Salazar, who is a 27-year-old fighter from Mexico, now living and residing in California. 24-4, and four, 9 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Salazar has come off a win against Valentin Martinez Guzman back in January of this year. Before that, he got knocked out by Carlos Adames back in June of last year. And uh, he had a good winning streak going for him before, you know, last he lost before Adames was in 2015 against Regosa. But yeah, Salazar is not a bad fighter. Um, he has decent footwork, has a decent jab, but uh, doesn't have really the power and boxing IQ to match Zayas. Zayas, uh, in my opinion, he is he's he's one of the big names. He's going to be one of the big names in the sport of boxing. Um, under top rank, top rank does a very good job promoting fighters who have, uh, you know, who are of Puerto Rican descent. They they have a track record of doing a very good job promoting fighters like uh, Miguel Cotto. Uh, they made him into a star, and I think they'll do the same for Zayas. Zayas, uh, the, the matchmakers are going to put the right people in front of him right now. And uh, even though I think Salazar has that experience, um, he, he, he doesn't have that skill set to match uh, Sander Zayas. Um, I think I think this fight will most likely, uh, I think it will most likely go the distance, actually. Um, but it won't surprise me if... Um, Zayas catches him with something good and knocks him out. Uh, but I think the likelihood of going the distance is a little higher uh, compared to this fight ending by knockout. Um, but I, I think Zayas got this. He should be able to go out there and outbox, outpunch, and show who the better boxer, better fighter is between the two. And uh, I say Zayas winning eight rounds to zero if it goes the distance. If it ends by knockout or TKO, I'll say, I'll say uh, round seven. It ends by Nakao or TKO. Maybe he'll break him apart by then, and and stop him by then. But uh, I think, I think I'll give Salazar a, a decent uh, chance, a good chance of uh, going the distance. Um, but we'll see. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. But I'm very confident. At the end of the day, Zayas is gonna win this fight. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.